a fashion backlash in Japan. There's an outcry on social media after a number of Japanese companies reportedly banned female employees from wearing eyeglasses to work. Some women are calling the workplace rules discriminatory and outdated, and it doesn't end with eyeglasses. As Lucy Kraft reports, the controversy is quite similar to another concerning female footwear in the workplace. Activist Yumi Ishikawa has become the face of a social movement in Japan, and her feet, always shod in flat shoes, are not just a fashion statement. Shoes are an expression of Japan's male chauvinism, she said. It all comes down to gender equality. Taking a page from the Me Too movement, Ishikawa and tens of thousands of followers have declared war on high heels. Their campaign is Kutu, which means shoe suffering. Japan has been called the land of uniforms for good reason. This nation's sartorial conformity starts early and continues throughout life. High heels have become part of the dress code for working women in Japan. Wearing them is considered a kind of office etiquette. Even Japan's labor minister weighed in, calling high heels necessary and reasonable. Such was this entrenched male mindset in Japan that at Ishikawa's old job at a funeral parlor, where she spent six hours a day on her feet, heels were mandatory. Three-inch heels were the rule, she said. When quitting time rolled around, my toes were bleeding. I thought, guys do the same job as me. Why do they get to wear flat shoes? Ishikawa vented online, and Japan felt her pain, literally. Scores of women shared war stories about grinning and bearing it through blisters, back pain and hammer toes inflicted by prolonged high heel use. The Kutu movement was born, demanding the right to comfortable footwear at work. It's a movement that seems to have legs. Recently, major bank Sumitomo Mitsui abolished formal dress codes, a move many here support. I think heels should be optional, said Kaname Kanamoto, an airline employee. Requiring heels makes me wonder, why aren't men wearing them? Traditional companies might require heels, but not newer, more progressive firms, said Saori Kikuchi, who works in IT. Meanwhile, Ishikawa is turning her pain to profit. She's got a new book and is about to debut her own line of sensible shoes, another step toward footwear freedom. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Lucy Kraft, Tokyo. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, all I have to say <laughs> is, you know, that women of a certain age, your feet have a hard time in heels. So. Not even just a certain age. <laughs> Wear the four and a half inch heels at I any age. I can speak. I'm a woman of a certain age.